So we could try to get we could try to get to the um, overlook. So let's stay up high, and we'll get ourselves a good visual look at this area before we go. So see, our, our Mr. Wolf is over there. Looks like our path is clear there. You always want to be careful when you cross the a rise. They can be right on the other side of that rise. The other thing that I'll tell you from my experience is that I've seen wolves path right down out of that hill right there um, between those rocks. So I always keep my eyes open there. I don't see anything. And we're getting ready to cross a rise here, so we want to we want to be ready. As we cross this rise, there could be a wolf right on the other side. I don't see any. Also, this is a good rabbit place. Uh, I see no... Oh, there's some rabbits. I don't have my snares on me, or I'd go ahead and set some snares. Um, I usually set one over there by that tree, and three up in these trees. And that way... Um, I'll have four traps that I can check every day. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is that when you check your traps, you want to have multiple traps and you also want to have more traps with you as you're checking them because they're probably going to get damaged and so you want to you want to have fresh traps to replace the ones so that you're you've always got your traps set always now we're crossing a hill here hopefully we're not getting ready to run into a wolf this is one of the routes that I take that seems to be the less the easy easiest way to get there we got a problem So always pick your flare up again. There goes the wolf. So he's going away. So he's going that way, we're going this way. Also, this is a pretty good place for some other resources, but I don't see them. There's, there's some mushrooms up there. We're going to ignore them for right now. Because this wolf will come back. He's already coming back. So we're going to get out of here. No sense in pressing our luck. And this is the path that I take that um, usually has less encounters with wolves. That's sort of a random encounter. It's not necessarily a wolf area, but uh, he was randomly um, in, a, in an unusual spot. So I try to come around this hill. And then this will take me to the overlook. There's, there's a dead body down there. But there's also a wolf down there, so I'm not going to mess with him right now. I would normally just go down first and then come back up. But there may be a rifle at the overlook uh, at the ranger station, so I'm going to go up here first just in hopes that I'll come across a rifle. There's not much chance in running into a wolf up here, but in stalker mode, never say never.
Alright, we're at the lookout. There's usually some kind of resource up here, um, a, a dead person that you can harvest. That wasn't very productive, was it? Alrighty, let's see what we can get run into up here. No gun. Got some ammo. Don't see anything down low. Up. Oh, there's a pry bar. See? That'll it's come here. That's why you always check low. Never know when you're gonna find something underneath the bed. Well, look at that sewing kit behind that bowl, a set of bowls there. Very good. Also, like I said, sometimes you can find things laying on top of the bed. I don't see anything this time, but it's just something to always keep in mind. So we got six hours of daylight left, and we got plenty of weight. Uh, room. Let's see if we can... I hate that door. Right. I don't know why I have to shut the door. I guess my dad taught me well. Boy, you don't live in a barn. Alright. That flare's no good. All right, so when we get to the bottom of the uh, of the forestry lookout, um, you've got a pretty good chance of getting uh, some wolf activity and bear activity. So we'll want to be on guard there. So I'll go ahead and get a flare out, and hopefully I won't burn it. Hopefully I'll be able to see anybody that's down there before they see me. One thing you can do, just go ahead and look from up here. I guess if your video card is set on pretty good settings and you're just checking for movement. I don't see anything moving. It is possible though that it doesn't render um, uh, the animals until you're a certain distance away. I'm not really sure about that. So this is the way that we came up here. You can see over there by the crows. That's where that corpse was. It was down low. Um, maybe I'll try to check the resources there uh, next time. I'm coming in that direction. I'll check that before I come up the mountain. Uh, hopefully I won't come this direction anymore, but if you have to hunt a bear, this is probably the place to go hunting if if the bear is spawning in this location. So we're just going to try to sweep that area over there with our field of view. See if we can see any bears pacing back and forth there. I don't see any bear. He can also be over in that direction. So we want to try to clear that. Wow, I don't see any bear or, or wolves. How peculiar. 
actually makes me more nervous than seeing them. I want to check this area here. Good golly. Well, that's why you carry those pain pills with you. I just sprained a wrist. Isn't that nice? I don't know that I particularly did anything to sprain my wrist. There we go. Oh, I forgot. You gotta do it here. Treat wounds. Temperature's not too bad right now, so I got some time to do some more exploring if I if I can get busy. There's a deer over there, so that means there's no wolf in that direction. I don't see any bear in this direction. Wow, that's highly unusual. No bear or wolf. Now there's crows over here, so there's something over here. So I don't really want to scare that deer. I want him to stay here. He's kind of a kind of a lifesaver. If he's here, then he has a good chance of attracting a wolf. He's coming from that direction. So I'm just gonna sneak up there, try to gather that resource, and head out without interfering with the deer. So. I'm probably pressing my luck. I got five hours of daylight left. But I'm gonna try to get to the to the lumber camp up here if I can. I still have plenty of weight tolerance left. I'm right down here in this little place and you feel pretty safe but there could be wolves on either side of the snowbank and you could attract their attention but I'm just going to try to stay in the center and hopefully I won't attract any unwanted attention. There is a deer up ahead so that means the path ahead should be okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get behind this deer and push him in the direction of the path we want to go. And that should clear out any other unwanted attention that we don't want. I guess that's kind of redundant, isn't it? Unwanted attention that we don't want. So I'm going to scare him in the direction of the trailers. And you want to check your six. There he goes. Wow, he ran right into the wolf. I don't know if I can get across that hill and avoid that wolf or not, but I'm going to give it a try. So we're going to try to avoid that wolf and not have to burn a flare. Question is, can I get over this hill? So far it appears that we can. I said earlier that we try to avoid the um, climbing over any unwanted things. You can have more accidents when you're trying to come down a steep incline any number of bad things can happen to you. Um, you can run into more unwanted attention. Um, the reason we're doing this, we're taking a calculated risk that we can get to the trailers. 
and not have to deal with that wolf. Wow, that was fortunate that I didn't injure myself there. <laughs> 